Hi everybody, Jager Breed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to go over the 2023 Macroeconomics Exam. This is set two, question number three. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit four. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your Microeconomics or Macroeconomics Exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts off with the country of Zeta and we are currently in long run equilibrium. First thing we're going to do is draw an ASAD model showing the country in long run equilibrium. We're going to label the current real output Y1 and the current price level PL1. Finally, we're going to label the full employment level of output YF. We have to start off by labeling our axes as real GDP on the X axis and the price level on the Y axis. We have a downward sloping demand curve, upward sloping supply curve, and the current equilibrium of Y1 and PL1 marked. Next, we're going to add in the long run aggregate supply curve. And since this country is currently in long run equilibrium, that means YF, which will go below the long run aggregate supply curve, is equal to the current equilibrium output of Y1. And if you have that graph, you got two points, one without the long run aggregate supply curve and YF, and the second point is for the long run aggregate supply curve and YF. For part B, we have to assume that there's an increase in consumer confidence in Zeta. And we're going to label the new output Y2 and the new price level PL2. In order to answer this question, it's helpful to remember that when consumer confidence increase, consumers are going to save less and spend more. That means we're going to see an increase in consumption. And an increase in consumption is going to shift the aggregate demand curve to the right, causing the price level to increase and the real GDP output to also increase. And if you shift it correctly and label the new equilibrium, you got your next point. For part C, we're going to assume that Zeta has ample reserves. And we have to suppose that the central bank's goal is to maintain a stable price level back at PL1. Based on the change in the price level that we just showed, which was an increase, we have to identify one specific monetary policy action that the central bank could take to achieve this goal. Now, in order to get the price level to go back down, the central bank is going to try to decrease the aggregate demand curve. And in order to do that, they need to increase interest rates, which decreases gross investment. And that causes the leftward shift of the aggregate demand curve. And since they have ample reserves, that means we have two possible choices here. First, we can increase interest on reserves or increase administered rates. Either of those answers will get you a point. But since we don't have limited or scarce reserves here, then any answers about open market operations, the reserve requirement, or the discount rate will not get you a point. Finally, based on the monetary policy action we just identified, we have to say what will happen to real output, and we have to explain. And we just said that there are going to be higher interest rates, and higher interest rates are going to reduce gross investment. And that decrease in gross investment is going to shift the aggregate demand curve to the left. So that brings us to our answer here, which is decrease. Because higher interest rates will reduce gross investment and other interest rate sensitive spending, and that will shift our aggregate demand curve to the left, and that will decrease aggregate demand. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your last point. And there you have it. That's the answer to the 2023 macroeconomics exam, question number three, set two. And if you still need more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.